This is what I like to call my oil painted flowers. So it's a lot like oil painting in my head. My grandfather was a artist and he oil painted. So I don't know, it's my throw to him. I'm using Mission Control Mega Jam and Solar for the flowers. And then I've put down Madam Glam, navy blue and pure cloud already. So let me show you how I've put it down. I take a tiny bit on my brush and I just roll it and press it off, easy peasy. So I'm planning on using the navy and the blue for leafing. I'm cleaning off my brush by the way so I don't transfer color into my solar. And then I'm gonna use the pink and the yellow for the flowers. So just grab a tiny bit, you don't need a ton. And then you're gonna wanna place it right next to that flower and then close your lid so your gel doesn't cure. Now this is a flat tipped brush that I grabbed off Amazon that we can find for you and link it. And what you're gonna do is wipe it so you get both colors on your brush. So you wanna go through there a couple times to distribute. And you're gonna stay pretty up and down, grab some more, and you go out and down, out and down. Now see how I switch so like there's pink on one side. Let me show you again. Up, down, up, down, and it gives you the dimension. Grab more color. I'm gonna flip so the yellow is on the top in this part, and then the pink is on the top on another. So it's kind of just like a quick little V that you're centering in the same spot for your floral. And see how I chose two colors that in between you get a good color. This is starting to look a little tropical, which is super fun, or a little springy, a little pink on the top there. Wiping through, I'm gonna do a little bit from the top, a little bit there, and a little bit over here. And so it's gonna have thicker edges. Um, this mission control will cure and it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna pop that into cure really quickly while I clean my brush off so we can do the leafing. Now, this Madame Glam Navy Blue and Pure Cloud are really, Madame Glam's really pigmented, so I'll use it for our, our art all the time. Sorry, mumble there. I'm going back and forth because I'm gonna work my brush more straight up and down to give us just quick, tiny little leafing details. So I'm working it a little more thin. I know I'm right on top of it, guys. Sorry, let's see right here. See how I go out and in, out and in. Reload, just quick, out and in. And you can see it really starts bringing things together. This looks really cool with green as well. I just like to pull blue sometimes because it gives it a little different look, a unique look that other people don't typically do. And clients always love it. So you could do this process with acrylic paint. Absolutely, you totally could. Just make sure it's dry all the way through before you put a top coat on. You could do it with polish as well, but it helps to do it with an opaque um, really high pigmented color and some normal polishes are a little thinner. So just keep that in mind This looks incredible I'm gonna go in and just grab a dotting tool and I'm gonna grab between pink and yellow for the different centers just to give some centers for flowers now after this is cured you can because I use mission control you could leave it without a top coat um, because Madame Glam also doesn't really have a sticky inhibition layer. Or you could put a shiny top coat on or what I ended up doing for my client the other day was I put a matte top coat on which looked really incredible over these oil flower painting. I don't even know what to call it. That was a tough sentence for me for some reason. But there you go, you guys. I really wanna see if you try this, so let me know. Oh, and please subscribe. I would love to have you here.